Hey guys, MC Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro Marvel Legends Series X-Men uh, Chode Build-A-Figure Wave. Here we have Chamber. This is the last figure in the way, as you can see. We've gone through all of them, so we're now finally onto Chamber before we can look at the Chod Build-A-Figure. Here we have the X-Men logo, X-Men logo up at the top. Artwork for Chamber there on the side. Um, that actually looks really cool. Here on the back of the package, you can see what he comes with. He comes with the left arm to the Chod Build-A-Figure. Uh, we'll stick that over there at the end. Oh, I did look. I don't think these are um, Armadillo's hands. So I do think that these are actually brand new sculpted hands. Um, and why they gave him five fingers instead of four um, is odd. So I'll need to look up more artwork and see if he was ever drawn with five fingers. But um, I, I definitely think that's an error uh, on Hasbro's part. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, Chamber does come with an extra set of hands. So out of the package, he has these open hands and the, he comes with uh, fists. Uh, one thing I, that I was really mad about prior to opening up this figure is that I kept thinking, well, this figure is going to suck. It's so bad. Like, and, and half of that is true because the lower half is the old suited body, which is just not a good body anymore. At the time it released, it was like, oh, this is cool. This is different. It's been used a bunch of times. It's not very good. The feet are terrible. It's hard to get them to stand and whatever. Uh, but the upper torso surprised the hell out of me. I figured the jacket was probably new, okay, but the torso I think is new, and then the arms might be new. I have to go through and check some other pieces and stuff to see if they are in fact new, um, but there are some surprising things. And then the head sculpt does look really good. It's a crazy ass design, but that's the design of the character, right? So it's a lot better of a figure than I had initially thought it would be. Um, so it has that going for it. So it is pinless on the elbow, so that's why I need to check these these the, these arms, these jacketed arms, to see if they've been used before. Um, but again, you know the legs suck. They are the old, the pinless, where they have hardly any any foot it's just it's hard to keep it stable and everything like that but there are some good things going on for this figure that i you know i will admit that i completely just dismissed without even really checking or, or thinking about it prior to it's still the linkest weak, weakest link in the wave um but it's not as bad as i had initially thought but anyway let's go ahead and get in for the closer look in the meantime i am gonna look up to see if these uh arms have been used before I'm pretty sure the torso is new though Okay, so here's an up-close look at Chamber. I looked around. I think these are new arms. There is some design on there, and I just can't pinpoint what figure that they could have come from. Um, I don't know if it's just too many figures. I just can't remember if these are truly new arms, uh, but they are really nice. They are not like the, the ones from uh, Spider-Man Noir. They're not the ones from... Who else had pinless and used the jacket? I can't think of any others like Wonder Man. Those are way different. Uh, but these arms are actually really nice. I just don't, you know, there is a little bit of design to it. The leather jacket looks really good. The torso is pretty cool too. And the torso, see, has, so Hasbro did put some effort into this. Because this torso, if you look up like images uh, from it, one thing that isn't quite here, you know, you see like, I don't know if it's tears in his shirt or whatever it is, but you see like strands of fabric like coming out of his shirt kind of going through there and again because he has no like upper chest and no like lower jaw it's just not there it's filled with like en psionic energy um i don't know if that's why just like fabrics or or whatever it is um but we did get some effort in here the problem is is this low the entire lower body sucks <laughs> it's like really bad um it, it's really really bad I, I wish i wish this this lower body would just disappear and never come back because i really don't like it. Most of the time, it's very difficult to get figures to stand. I will admit... Oh, well. This one, I can get him to stand up a little bit. But, like, out of the package, these feet were, like, super, like, hinged down. And they were all stiff and everything. It's just a, a pain in the ass. But, again, I will admit, this figure is a lot nicer than I initially th really thought it would be. The head sculpt looks really cool. The flame effect and everything there. So the head portion, the half head portion, is a separate piece onto like the flame translucent plastic and it's kind of glued on there. It looks really, really nice. The digital print on there came out fantastic. It is done really, really nice. I, can't, I have no complaints on it whatsoever. I really don't. Uh, my complaints are just going to be in the lower body. To pop the head off though, because I think we need to do that to really take a look at this body to show kind of how, how cool it is. The leather jacket looks really nice. Uh, Chamber, I feel like, should have had the Generation X uh, costume to kind of go with Monet Saint Croix. 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 
whichever way you prefer to, to pronounce it. Um, but you know what? This this does work. You look up a lot of images. He has something similar. It's not all exactly like this. There are some where it is essentially exactly like this, but a lot of others where he's in a different kind of suit. Um, so it works. You know, the the ball hinge, I'm not sure why they went with the flesh tone while the shirt was, was there. Um, it's a little bit of an odd choice. I, they could have gone black. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's just weird to see that they went with the flesh tone. Uh, ball peg as opposed to like just black to kind of match the shirt uh, but looking on the shirt underneath you can see it's all fabric and textured in there uh, looks pretty good he's got a decent ab crunch and I'll have to look I don't think he can use that when you have the head on there um, and then it does go back which will work with when the head is on there um, but yeah there we go all the sil all the zippers and buttons and everything are all painted silver um, so that is done really nice the head sculpt is pretty crazy as you can see we'll just pop that right back on there and then we'll go ahead and zoom out and take a look at his articulation. Okay, articulation. So yeah, he's he he can't look down. Um, the ab crunch does work though, so you can crunch him forward. But uh, looking up uh, a little bit, as you can see, but kind of resting there is kind of straight out look. Uh, you can get a little bit of twist in there. Shoulder, you can get the shoulder to come up. Ey, only that much. That's not very good. Uh, full rotation in there. You do have an upper bicep swivel. Double jointed pinless elbow, which is really nice. That much bend there at the elbow. Wrist swivel, and they do hinge. Standard horizontal hinge on these open hands. Um, and then the fists also have the standard horizontal hinge. Uh, I showed you the ab crunch. I'm going to do it again because I, I you know, get thrown off if I don't go in order so forward. Uh, back goes that much there. Jacket gets in the way. Get the waist swivel in there. Terrible legs that only go out that far apart. You can kick forward. Uh, a pretty good amount though, which is pretty good. Leg doesn't go back. You got an upper thigh cut in there. Double jointed pinned knee gives you that much bend there at the knee. Um, I hate these feet. There's no castle or anything. You can hinge the foot down a little bit. If you bend out the, the heel of that foot, you can hinge it down even more. Going up though is basically just straight uh, ankle pivot. Not really peg holes, even though they're kind of there. They're not. They're useless. They're not deep enough. Um, so there is the articulation. Upper body, pretty good. Lower body, not very good. The shoulder, though, doesn't get up too high, uh, but I think that's okay. Uh, the, it, it's, yeah. You know what? So much nicer of a figure than I really thought. I feel bad for saying that it was going to be terrible, terrible, terrible. It's still the weakest link in the wave, but not nearly as bad as I would have thought. Had we gotten different legs, I'd have been uh, better for sure. Maybe like the legs from uh, Mr. Knight. Because they're pinless, they work. They they have a little bit more range. You can have different feet on there, get them to be a little bit more stable. I think that would have gone a long way. Or if they just would have had a different suit that you know would match the Generation X team, since Mon Monet Saint Croix Saint Croix um, is in the wave. Also, like why not have the matching suit to have to start to build out that Generation X team? You know, unfortunately, that's just something that they, they decided not to do. Okay, so here is our Chod build a figure wave all together. A uh, decent enough wave with a lot of new stuff. And Chamber, I was thinking 100% repaint. You know, the head is the only thing new. Uh, but he's got a new upper body, so that is actually pretty cool. When we look at the entirety of... Um, of the wave. Lots of new stuff going on. Lots of character selection. It's starting to build out a couple of different teams, right? We're getting some Astonishing X-Men. We're getting some of the Star Jammers um, and Shi'ar Empire. We got some Generation X stuff. Um, so it kind of really hits in a lot of different places, which I think is what um, Hasbro should be doing with these waves. You know, getting a, a full complete like team or a full complete themed wave is okay, um, you know, House of X I thought was really cool, but Age of Apocalypse, okay, but then they did Age of Apocalypse Wave 2. It's like full, two full waves, um, you know, of a particular theme. Like, it, it takes two to three waves to be able to get all of the character selections and all those different looks that you're going to want to do. So, I, I think when you when they're able to kind of really spread it out like this... You know, you're really hitting a bunch of different collectors, whether you're hitting everybody that is a completionist that's going to get up everything, or maybe they only stick to the Astonishing X-Men stuff. Or maybe they want to build out a cosmic display and go with the, the Star Jammers and the Shi'ar Empire, or stick with, you know, X-Men teams and have their Generation X di on display in one area. I think it's great that they really spread that out, but you guys let me know your thoughts on that. Um, let me know what you think of this chamber figure. Was I too harsh on it before? Yeah, I was. It's still not super great. 
Um, but it's, it's, it is a whole hell of a lot better than I really thought it would be. I just hate that lower, that lower body. Those legs are trash. If they had different legs on this, this would be an awesome figure. And I would just be like, I was super wrong. I, I need to shut up and keep the, all my criticisms until after. Um, but it, it, it really did surprise me. It's still, again, the weakest link in the wave for me. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and be a part of the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.